So I don't know if this is you, but I used to take a ton of art supplies on trips and I'd never do anything with them. It would be so overwhelming to me and I'd just be like, why did I bring all of this stuff? It's so heavy. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy and I'm an illustrator in LA. I want to show you what I bring on trips now. I mean, we're not really traveling all that much anyway, but like, you know, the holidays are coming up. I don't know what's what you're doing, okay? Let me know where you're going. I wanted to show you what I bring what I bring on trips weekend a week long trip and a month long trip and let's just get into the video I'll add any links uh, to supplies if I can in the description this is what I bring for a weekend trip I'll bring like a couple colored pencils in colors that I like and I know that go well together probably just like a small bunch like this like how many is this oops one two three four five six and then a little color erase because I like to kind of under sketch with that and then I'll bring my um, pencil sharpener I'll also bring like a kneaded eraser or another kind of eraser for my color erase and a couple binder clips and then finally, I'll bring a sketchbook. Right now I'm using this one, but whatever sketchbook would take colored pencil really well, I would take. And that's pretty much it, what I would take. I wonder how heavy this is. One second. That's about one ounce. It's not that bad. Is that one pound? Oh, one pound, one ounce for all of that. Not that bad. And then if we want to convert that to grams, 503 grams does anybody use that i don't know <laughs> okay moving on we're done with this section okay so what do i bring for a week um i'm gonna bring everything that i brought for the weekend so that's the colored pencil the color erase the eraser the binder clips the sketchbook obviously what else did i miss i think that's it. Um, and then I will kind of up it by bringing a watercolor set. And this one is by Windsor & Newton. Uh, this one I've had for quite a while. It's really nice to have these pans. You know, it's quite versatile. So I can use it with my colored pencil. And then of course I need a brush. This one does come with a brush. So if you're comfortable with the brush that it comes with, that's cool. But I will usually bring like four of my own brushes. So in like a little roll like this to protect them. This is a Princeton Aqua Elite, an Esconda Versatile, a Princeton Neptune, and a Princeton Aqua Elite in eight, four, six, and one, just to give myself some variety. I'll also bring like a rag to wipe my brushes off with and a little roll of washi tape. Let's see how heavy these are. 754 grams one pound 10 ounces not too bad we will move on i guess what do i do for a month oh let me tell you i would bring everything that i just outlined except i wouldn't bring the watercolor set mostly because i really enjoy painting with gouache so i'd bring gouache and since I'm going to be packing this in my checked baggage instead of carrying it onto the plane, I would rather do that. I would probably bring a little set like this of one, two, three, four, five, six different um, gouache paints that I could use. And um, that also includes a, like a white. Um, so I'd make sure that all these colors go together. So I'd take those boys, oops. This is so chaotic. And a couple of these like little rectangular paint palettes to paint in at the uh, hotel or Airbnb, wherever I'm staying. Or it could be like a coffee shop or, you know, picnic or whatever. That brings our total for a month to one pound, 14 ounces. Converting that to grams, that's 853 grams. Not sure if anybody cares about that. But yeah, that's what I would bring for a month trip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any tips for traveling and doing art, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you next time. Bye.